morning guys this is me chandu and welcome back to my youtube channel so this one we need to make one face recognition system without any knowledge of deep learning if you don't have any knowledge about how can you build the fml model how many hidden layer or how many output layer or how many input layer don't worry i'll be here and i'm going to show you how can you build that so without any further delay so let's get started so in order to building the face recognition system so first you need to actually collect the data so for collecting the data, we are actually using the OpenCV. So if you don't know what is OpenCV, so please go my YouTube uh, channel playlist and search for the 15 days of OpenCV course and learn the OpenCV from here. Okay. So as you can see here, I, I create a folder that's called the face recognition Python. And inside this folder, you can see here one file that's called hardcascade frontal default.xml file. So this file actually helps us to detect the face from our camera. Okay. And also you can see, see here one empty folder that's called images. So you can actually uh, take the images from our camera and then we are going to train it out. So without any knowledge of deep learning. So that's the actual technique that you're going to actually use here. So first I'm going to actually create one Python file here. Let's say data collect .py. And inside this, I'm going to pass here some code that's actually done before for actually time consumedness actually making this out. So first, we're going to import the CB2. If you don't know about the CB2, just actually open your terminal and go into the stall it. Just open your command prompt here. It's called CMD and type here uh, pip install. That's called OpenCV Python. So this is the installation process of the uh, OpenCV in Python. So just enter and it will install this library on your system. So in my case, I'm not actually going to install this library because it's already installed in my system. I'm going to click it to close that. So this actually, uh, this file actually help us to actually collect the data and store in our uh, image folders. Okay. So for that, you can actually uh, do some uh, data for each person. So for testing purposes, I'm actually using my own picture and also the picture of uh, Tony Stark because I'm also the fan of the Tony Stark. So that's going to be actually using these pictures. So this file actually help us to collect the data. So let's run the code uh, first, then see that, that how it actually looks like. So let's say Python, okay. So Python data collect dot py, okay. So it will actually, okay, sorry. I am going to save the file and then actually, actually execute it. Otherwise it's not actually run because in Visual Studio code, you need to actually save the code, okay. So it will, it will send me the enter your name because you can see here enter your name. So let's say pass my name. That's my name. And it opened my camera and you can see it actually take the picture of me and save it into one file. It's called images. And after that, it will taking the 5,000 images. Okay. Sometimes you can just see here, I should take the picture of my shirt uh, because this is nothing but for my camera resolution. So right now it's night and camera resolution is not so good. So that's the problem. And you can see here five. Uh, 100 zero images is actually done so if i go here and you can see here one folder that's called chando and you can see here so many images okay so many images okay that's mean it collecting all the images one by one so now the question is how can you actually collect them the images if you don't uh, see my face marks reduction video because in this video i actually uh, discuss about this thing uh, no problem I actually discuss about this thing on also in the video no problem click it to uh, close that okay so first you're going to import the cv2 that's called the open cv then you're going to actually create one uh, video capture object so this object actually help us to actually open our camera so let's see uh, how can I actually open the camera i'm going to actually uh, comment out this line because we don't need to actually uh, right now we don't need to actually detect the face uh, okay so you need to also uh, comment out those lines also and now, uh, okay, count is also be, okay, let's make this as k equal. And if let's say k equal equal to ORD, uh, for testing purposes, I'm going to actually use this here. Let's save it and run the code here. Now you can see here, actually, it actually opened my webcam. Okay, you can see it actually opened my webcam right now. Now I need to actually detect the faces. So for detecting the faces, what I need to do, I have actually press the key from the keyboard, it should be gone. Okay. So for that, I'm going to use this head cache kit frontal default.xml file. So I'm going to uncomment this line here. Okay. Then after that, I'm going to uncomment this line. Okay. And also these lines. Okay. Then I'm going to also uncomment these lines also. And the actually detect the faces, I'm going to actually create one rectangle. 
and also I don't need to actually uh, say, change anything here so when I actually run the code and you can see here it detect my face okay just a, just a minute actually open my camera okay you can see here it actually detect my face so this is the x coordinate and the y coordinate and also the white and the height so for that we need to cut the frame from here cut the frame from frame here okay so let's see how can I cut them so even to cut them this uh this is the rules for cutting them there's y to y plus height and x to x plus height that's naturally cutting the detection part so i actually uncomment these lines and also uh name is actually i need to actually save it because i'm going to save the file uh, in, in in the folder so that's why we need to pass here the cb 2imb this imb actually help us to actually read the images from our frame and i am actually help us to actually show the frame here okay so this is the path and you can see here i actually put here one count why count because i'm going to actually count the 5000 images after that it actually gone so for that i actually take one condition here and also i'm going to take one name id based on my name so as you can see here i'm going to actually take the name from the users and after that i'm going to pass it into the one path and i need to check that if the path is already exists or not so if the path is already exists so i don't need to actually create that but if the path is not actually exist i need to actually create them that's mean let's say if the name of chandu is not existed so i need to actually create them okay so this is the thing behind the scene here okay so i'm going to actually make this as when the count is okay so let's say when the count is uh greater equal to 5000 that's mean when the count is actually go to the 5000 out it will automatically crack the loop okay so now let's check it out and uh open new terminal and let's say uh, python data collect dot py make sure that you save the file here okay okay enter and it actually clocks for the name just a few seconds uh, okay let's say uh, my name is chandu and right now the folder is already exists so if i uh, type here chandu and you can see your name already taken okay so that's the basic things of actually using the os okay so now i'm going to take some picture of the tawny track okay and uh, then actually going to the penny okay so i'm going to also un uncomment this line for the counting purposes okay so now let's take the same picture of the tawny stack as we do before in taking the picture of mine so as you can see here uh, it actually saved the picture of mine in the folder that's called chando and also i'm going to pass here one file uh, this is actually taken by uh, me before the picture of tawny stack that's been great tawny stack okay so the testing purpose is actually using this picture okay so now the question is what's the logic that you're going to use here to making this uh, the face recognition system so you're going to use the teachable machine it's very easy to make that because you don't need to actually worry about the, the um, how can you actually building the cnn model or the deep learning model so teachable machine actually offer you the building the image classification products so let's get started and jump the teachable machine so now you need to go on your web browser and search for teachable machine okay and it will open the first link you can see it appear here teachable machine so just open this link and it actually uh, you can see your teachable machine train a computer to recognize your own images sound or poses that's when you actually train your sound and also your poses you can see here this actually required by the google and i'm going to click it to get started here and you can see your image project audio projects and the post projects so for that i'm going to actually choose here the image projects and you can see here the standard image model and also the embedded image model if you're actually using the raspberry pi or the Arduino you know, or any kind of let's say node mcu you can actually use this embedded image model so i'm going to click here to a standard model here and you can see a class one and the class two so you need to actually uh, uh you can also edit the class here so let's say first class is let's say my name chando and enter and i'm going to actually upload the file and just click on here and it actually open the your pop-up window and you can select the images so i'm going to select my own images just select here Control a open actually selecting all the images from my uh, directory and after the selecting the images and it actually uh train the images just click on here so i'm going to click here and also change this let's say great tony stark okay so let's say tony stark okay that's why and also click at upload and click here to upload the files and also go on here let's say let's select the picture and it will actually load at all the picture in the teachable machines and just click on the train model and it will train the model just at two or three minutes okay 
So just click on here to train the model and it actually prepare the training data. So it will take maybe two to three minutes or less than two or three minutes to train the model. Then you can see one bone thing that you don't need to actually understand the deep learning here, okay? Because already is done by Google. So right now you can see here training is started and it take uh, maybe uh, one minute maybe. Wow, cool. It takes just uh, maybe one minute, and you can see here the output is also that's called it's called the Chando. That means me, <laughs> okay. And you can also actually test it out on the webcam, also. You can webcam and also the file. You can select the picture, okay. Let's select the picture of the Tony Stark. You can see a Tony Stark, and also let's select my picture, some picture. Let's select some coal, okay. And you can see it's called Chandu. And also you can actually open the webcam. Okay. And you can also uh, up the import up here. Okay. And just click on here to export the model and go on the tensor flow because you can actually use the tensor flow. So when you're actually trying to uh, load this model on Java, that's been on the industry, you can actually use this uh, TensorFlow Lite model. And also when you're actually using the JavaScript, that's been TensorFlow.jazz, you can actually use this here, okay? So when you click at the TensorFlow, and I'm going to actually save the model as a Keras format and download my model. And it's actually converting the model. And also you can see here some uses of the uh, this Keras model. You can actually use this Keras model to actually uh, predict that uh, it is Chando or it is great turning start. So this code is basically for the aesthetic images. You can see here from Keras model. We're going to import the load model. This load model actually help us to load the model. Then it actually reshaping this uh, reshaping this array to the one comma two to four two to four cross three. One is nothing but for the one single images and two to four two to four is the size of the images. And you can see one zip file is actually downloaded. And data type is numpy dot float thirty two. And again, actually, uh, actually making this uh, image as error, then I thought that you actually uh, normalize the data, then actually predict that. So this is nothing but for the static images. So you need to see that how can you actually do this in real time. So let's see how can you do that and how can you actually use this, this model. In our so, all right. So you can see here right now, you can see a converted Keras model and also actually start this file here. And you can see here, I can actually open the labels fi files. You can see here, first one is Chandu and second one is Tony Stark. And also, I can actually extract this file, I got one Keras model. So right now, I can actually use this Keras model to actually predict in the output. So now let's open the Visual Studio code. Okay, so now I'm going to create one new Python file here. Let's say test.py, okay? And I am also going to paste some code here that is already done by before, okay? So this is the same code that we actually see on the teachable machine, but this is nothing but for the real time, okay? So don't worry, you actually get the code in the description as a GitHub thing, and also as a zip format, and there should be a password, and password is nothing but deep learning. Always should be in the lowercase letter, okay? So also, it is also same, just to detect the phases, then after that actually um, open the camera, then after that actually predicting that, that is uh, this Tony and Stark or Chindu. Okay, so now I'm going to actually save the code and open the terminal and type here. Let's say Python test dot UI. Okay, so make sure that your camera should be camera should quality should be correct. Otherwise, it actually give me some wrong output maybe. <laughs> but let's see. Uh, that's our model actually give us the correct output or not. So all right, so now you can see actually uh, our model actually working fine here. It's sometimes it called 20 stack, but all the time 70% accuracy that you did Chandu. So let's use the picture of the 20 stack and see that. Yeah, that's cool. It's called the 20 star. Wow, that's cool. So you're building a model without any knowledge of deep learning. That's awesome, man. Again, testing out. Wow, that's 20 star. So this is the tutorial, hope you will enjoy this tutorial and make sure to subscribe my channels and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss any updates. So I'll be back with another brand new tutorial. So till then take care and bye bye.